Hi everyone, how are you? Uh, I will see you in a second. Today our class is about electric field, electric, electric potential, electric field, electric potential for conductors. It's about sphere. About spheres, we're gonna finish what we start. We're gonna finish what we start before. Okay, uh, today we're gonna do some problems to make the concepts we explained before more clear for you. Let us start. Let us see what we have. Now, I'm going to start with a problem like that. This example. Hi. How you doing? How is everyone? It's about sphere. Now, here is given the relation between the voltage of sphere conductor and the distance from the center of the sphere. The distance from the center of the sphere. From here. Let us remember what you want to find the charge on the sphere. Let us remember that this value means that voltage on the sphere which is V this if you remember K Q over R okay. then we're going to use this given value and apply it here to find the charge we know K equal we know K equal 9 times 10 to the 9. Okay, negative 6 times 10 to the 5 equal 9 times 10 to the 9 times the over R, which is how much R? 9 centimeter. Centimeter you have to multiply by negative 2. Okay? And the Q, what we want. Okay. Solve this for Q. Cross multiply. When you cross multiply, 9 times negative 6, negative 54. When you multiply the exponent, you add this to this. Then you cross multiply. You multiply this by this. It's 3. Equal. 9 times 10 to the 9 divided by I mean Q divide both sides by 9 times 10 to the 9 9 times 10 to the 9 this cancel negative 54 divided by 9 is negative 6 times 10 3 minus 9 is negative 6 3 minus 9 is negative 6 equal Q. Then Q is a negative charge equal negative 6 and 10 to the negative 6 mean micro. Micro. This is the negative 6. Then we can write it micro column. Micro stands for 10 to the negative 6. We're done. We found the charge, which is this my charge on this field. Now, you ask me find E at 6 cm. 6 cm mean we are inside the circles. 6 cm mean, means we are inside. Which is mean what for you guys? Remember, mean E equals 0. Wow, good job. And then find E on the surface. Sometimes he will not give you find the chart. He will give you directly find E at 6 centimeter and find E at the surface. 
then e at 60 centimeter equals zero. The surface, you have to do this. You have to do that step first. You have to do this step. You have to do this step first. You have to do this step first to find the charge. And the surface, E on the surface, if you remember, K, Q over R squared. Now we have the we have the K, which is 9 times 10 to the 9, and the, the Q negative 6, but we don't apply the negative for the electric field. 6 times 10 to the negative 6 over R squared, which is 9 from the figure there. 9 times 10 to the negative 2 square. Let us do this. How are we going to do it without calculator? 9 times 6, 54, and 9 squared here is 81 times 10 to the negative, 10 to the 9. Minus 6. And this ne guy, negative 2 times 2, is this guy here. Give you a negative 4. When you take it up, becomes a plus 4. Then 54 over 81 times 10 to 9 minus 6, 3 plus 4, 7 in Newton per column. Don't forget the unit, please. Don't forget the unit. This is the first part. Let us go to the another example. Again, uh -huh, look, I found the chart. I found the chart by knowing that the, the value here given is the voltage in the sphere, KQ over R. Then we finish our problem. Now let us see what we have here. This example. Find these two spheres next to each other. other. The first sphere, have, sphere has a charge equal to negative 4 microcolumn. And the radius for this sphere is 4 cm. The distance between the two spheres is 20 cm. The radius for the second sphere is 6 cm. The charge for the second sphere is 12 microcolumn. What do you want? EA, EC, ED, EJ, VA, VB, VD, VJ. Let me see how much I can finish today. E at A. Look, I'm going to explain it now. A and sphere 1, which is mean E from A equals 0. A is how many centimeters from the center of the sphere? 6 here, 20 here, and 4 here is 30 centimeters from surface 2, from sphere 2. Is this clear? Then EA comes from two electric fields, one from sphere 1 and one from sphere 2. It's because A inside the sphere 1, there is no electric field from A. Then E at A, we can write it. E from sphere 1 plus E from sphere 2, and this is 0. And from sphere 2, K, Q over D square. D, how much we said? 30 centimeter. Equal. Now, which Q? Q2, only from the second sphere. K, 9 times 10 to the 9 times 12 times 10 to the negative 6 over 30 times 10 to the negative 2 squared. Now, math. I'm gonna, I will back to the direction when I finish. Equal, it just math as we did. 9 times 12 divided by 30 squared is 900. Is how many? Good? Time 10. 
90 from this guy, minus 60 from this guy, this negative 4, as we said, becomes a plus 4, equal, 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 look here guys, 1 and 100. 12 over 100 is point to 12. You see that? Time 10 to the 7. If you want to make it more nice, well, you can wind by 10 to the 6, the Newton per column. Now, let us go to the direction. At A. You see, this charge is positive, and we need at A, always, always, always. When you need to find the direction, you assume the major make line here. This is sphere 2, and this, the center of the sphere 1, oh, and this 2, and this sphere 1. Now, I will assume there is a positive charge here, plus 1, and this guy is positive charge, then this will move where? Then the direction of the electric field at the center at A, the direction of this, the direction of the electric field at A will go where? Here. Will go to the left to the left. This E, A. That means if there's anything here, it will move to the left as an effect of electric field from what? From sphere 2. Now let us go to the second one. E at C. C. We need only E and C. See, look how I'm going to do. I'm going to make it easy for you. E and C. I'm going to make one line here. I'm going to make believe that the two charge, both are now unit charge, which is mean for me, this guy here, this guy here, Q1, and charge 1, and Q2, and C in the middle, C in the middle of the two uh, charges. The distance from here to here, 10, and here 10. Then from this guy to this guy, 14 centimeter, and from this guy to this guy, 16 centimeter. And we have to assume there's a charge equal to plus one in the middle. Anywhere you want to find the electric field, you have to assume there's a charge equal to what? Equal to negative one. I'm, I'm sorry, positive one. Good. Okay. This negative and this positive. Then my electric field from this guy goes to this side. which is this way, this is E from 1, and this positive and this positive, we have the same direction of, from, I'm going to move this guy here out, raise the 14 centimeter a little bit, just move it, 14 centimeter, and take this guy down. And make it bold, to make it clear, and make it red. Hmm? And the direction of this guy, the same thing, D2. Then, 
I have two electric fields, one from the first one and one from the second one, and we deal with these charges as well. As long as they are in the same direction, I'm gonna first find them, then add them. E1 from K, Q1, D1 square, 9 times 10 to the 9 over 14 times 10 to the negative 2 square time Q1. Don't put negative or positive for the charge for electric field. Just leave it as is. 10 to the negative 6. Apply the rules of the mathematics, you know. 9 times 4, 36. 14 is square, you can use your calculator. 14 is square, you can use your calculator. 1 minus 6. Time. I did this too many. 9 minus 6, 3, plus 4, 7. Now divide 36 over 1 minus 6. You get point 0.18. Point 18 times 10 to the 7 Newton per per column. E2 K Q2 over R I mean D square and D here 16 and D here square which is 9 times 10 to the 9 times 12 times 10 to the negative 6 over 16 times 10 to the negative 2 centimeter. Again, you multiply, I'm going to multiply, the, the answer is 10 to the 7. 9 minus 6 is 3 plus 4 is 7. All what I have to do to multiply and divide. 9 times 12, 108. Divided by 16 square, you get 0 0.077, about 0 0.077, you round it to 0 0.08 times 10 to the 7 in Newton per column. You round it to the, then we multiply 9 times 12, 108, 16 square, 256. 108 times divided by 256. I think the answer will be uh, 0 0.042. 0 0.042. 0 0.042. Now I have two. I have two electric fields, I have to add them here, right? And to the left, right? Then my final answer will be E equal E1 plus E2. Since I have the same exponent for both electric fields, which is what? 10 to the 7, 10 to the 7, you add 0.18 plus 0.42. And you keep 10 to the 7. 0.18 plus 0 0.42, 0 0.6. Time 10 to the 7 in Newton per column. Thank you guys and have a nice day and see you on maybe tomorrow or after tomorrow to finish all the problems. Thank you and have a nice day.